Hello. I'm not really sure <clears throat> how to start this video. Um, pretty much I just wanted to kind of let um, anyone who watches my videos or supports me um, let you in on what's been going on with me, where I've been, and things like that. So recently I have been struggling with um, panic attacks <clears throat> and extreme anxiety. Um, I was diagnosed or whatever with panic disorder, which basically is reoccurring um, panic attacks, they're really intense, really scary, they can be debilitating. Um, I've had panic attacks for four years, but they have just been the worst that they've ever been in my life the past, I don't even know, like five, six months. Um, debilitating only the last couple of months my thoughts are probably all over the place and I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this very organized my brain um, when I'm anxious uh, can get pretty scrambled so <clears throat> Talking about it is really hard because it makes me very anxious. Um, pretty much I just want to make this video to maybe help some of you or, or if some of you are going through the same thing, at least just know that, you know, you're not alone. Um, Sometimes it can feel like you are. <clears throat> I feel like I'm going to be very fidgety in this video because my anxiety, it's very, it gets very, it, it flares up a lot um, when I talk about panic attacks and stuff, but I'm gonna try my best here. Basically to give you an idea of what my life has been like for the last couple of months. Um, it's pretty much been um, at my lowest points would be laying in my bed, having not eaten anything in days or barely eaten anything, um, hopeless, at rock bottom, terrified only thing on my mind is my panic attacks so my panic attacks um, I guess I'll just run you through what they feel like for me for it's different for everyone but a panic attack for me feels like I am dying even though I don't know what dying feels like for some reason. Um, my brain convinces me this is what dying is and it's happening right now. Um, pure just fear, just petrified, terrified, catastrophic thinking, physical symptoms, um, would be every muscle in my body tensing. Um, I usually get tingle, uh, tingly, I usually get tingliness and numbness and um, prickly pins and needles feeling. Um, my legs go numb, back of my neck has pins and needles in it, 
my head can vibrate, my vision gets distorted, it, I get a serious feeling of detachment from reality. Basically, all in all, it's the worst feeling I've ever felt in my entire life. It's terrifying. It messes with my head. It's very convincing. The physical side effects are insane to me. They really, the fact that a panic attack could cause so many scary feelings like tingliness in your left arm, half my face tingles, um, you know, trembling like crazy, my heart feels like it's pounding out of my chest, sweating, my eyes go wide, I've even had my face go white from the blood draining from my face. It got to a point where, you know, I, I wish I could just say that I, I just didn't want to leave my house and, I, and all I wanted to do was just stay home because it was my safe place. Um, it's, it's not. I don't feel like I am safe anywhere, really. Um, but I did, I was staying home, I was homebound, I, then it kind of, as it got worse, I became bedbound. That didn't stop the panic attacks though, I still had them, but I guess my mindset was, well, if I'm going to die, I guess I would rather do it in my bed than in public, right? What it all comes down to is every time I have a panic attack, I am thinking that something catastrophic is happening to me, um, like physically, um, like some sort of medical emergency that will kill me, pretty much. That's what it always comes down to is dying and some sort of awful, like, painful, like, suffering process, and then, like, death. It could be something as simple as a little pain in my chest um, turns into, this is a heart attack. Um, last night, I was having um, little pains in my head. Um, I think people call them like brain zaps. That's kind of what they felt like. Um, and pretty much my anxiety convinced me that I was going to have a seizure. Um, and you know, when I get anxious like that, I tend to tense up and my jaw was like tense and I was moving it and I was just like, yeah, I'm gonna have a seizure even though that's... <laughs> I wasn't. You know, none of the things that I've ever been afraid of have ever happened to me. It got to a point very recently where it was completely and utterly consuming me. I stopped eating. I lost weight. I was completely hopeless. I was so depressed. I... It was just a lot of really bad feelings that You know, I would like look at myself in the mirror and like not see the, the person that like I know myself to be. 
I kind of just saw like like a shell of the person I you know once was and I just saw like someone who was consumed by uh, like a mental illness um, each day that went on was worse than the last I was I was giving up so quick so quickly I was pretty much just coming to terms with the fact that this was my life but I also was um, you know, pretty convinced that it would actually be the death of me because of how I wasn't leaving the house and how I wasn't eating or drinking water or taking care of myself anymore. And if I kept going down, you know, a road like that, it could actually cause some serious, you know, health problems. So I was just at a point where my mind was consumed by panic and fear and I was so drained and done and I just didn't want to move, I didn't want to do anything, I didn't want to I just saw like my life as over, like there was no hope, there was no light at the end of the tunnel I just saw like nothing for me anymore besides panic and fear and death. I could pretty much barely even look at my phone most days. Um, you know, not that that's a bad thing. Um, I think having some time away from technology and stuff is good, but I, I couldn't I couldn't function. I couldn't do anything without the first thing in my mind being like, you're dying, or you're having a seizure, or, or you're having a heart attack, or you're having a stroke. I, and it, it wasn't just, it wasn't just thoughts either. It would, those thoughts were, you know, manifested in me. Panic attacks, they, I would be breathing hard, I would be telling everyone around me I'm dying, I would be like, like, I'm not okay, like, can someone help me? Like, I was so convinced that, like, something bad is happening and, like, I could just tell it would make everyone, like, sad around me. I would just be like petrified, I'd be breathing, I would be like, like something's happening, please help me, I'm dying, I'm like, I don't want to die. I can't, I can't even really count the amount of times I have been taken to the ER. I've called 911 twice. Or someone near me has the first time I was convinced I was having a heart attack I was having a squeezing feeling in my chest and that was it it was game over I you know when you start having a panic attack you get all these other symptoms too and whenever you kind of come down from it you realize that you really only had like a minor like discomfort but your panic makes it so much worse and so much scarier the second time 911 was called i actually went into the er uh in the ambulance to the er because i was driving with my mom and driving i had trouble with uh, a lot 
um, I would have panic attacks while driving and stuff like that, but I would just kind of tough through it when it was kind of more manageable. Um, I don't drive now. I haven't driven in maybe three weeks or more um, because of the last time I drove. I had a panic attack so bad that I, I felt all new symptoms. Um, I had never felt uh, like pins and needles, felt like my skin was on fire. This was the first time I had ever experienced that. And also my vision almost went like tunnel vision. It was just, I think I almost passed out. It was really, 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 really bad. One of the scariest moments of my life was that day. I kept, I was laying my head in my mom's arms and I was like, my skin's on fire. Like, I don't wanna die, I don't wanna die. I just, I felt like I was slowly like just like slipping away and I just kept telling my mom like I don't want to die mom I don't want to die and I made her cry a little bit and it was just really sad really horrible horrible day so I the paramedics show up, they take my vitals. I mean, my blood pressure, my heart rate is, you know, raised, but for the most part, they were like, you know, we don't, we don't know. And they were like, you know, you can either go with your mom to the, to the emergency room or you can come with us. And I was trying, I, at that point, I did not think it was a panic attack. I had never felt my skin feel like it was on fire from the inside out. My legs went numb for the first time. I felt like I was fainting. I don't know if I actually was or not. I think if I was fainting, I actually would have just passed out. But uh, the, my face was completely white. Um, I think I was a little dehydrated. Um, so it was all new symptoms. So I had no freaking idea and it hit me so hard. I had no idea that it was a panic attack. I was completely convinced that that was the time that I was going to die. So I get into the ER, uh, to the ambulance, and I'm, you know, they're asking me if I have a history of anxiety. I said yes. Um, I was trying to, I knew that I was having anxiety because, you know, if you actually think you're in a state of medical emergency, of course you're gonna have anxiety. So I was trying to remember like, okay, I have panic attacks and stuff. Let's try and calm down and see what symptoms we can make go away so that I could actually try and like listen to my body. So I remember calming down a bit and still feeling the like, or trying to calm down. I might have been trying to calm down, but I think my subconscious was still, um, you know, fired up. So I was still feeling all of the symptoms. I, my face was on fire. My skin felt like it was on fire. Um, pins and needles, just terrible. God, talking about this stuff is so hard. I'm going to try and fight through um, how bad my anxiety is right now. So 
um, yeah, I still felt all the scary symptoms even if I tried calming down, but I don't think I, I wasn't actually calm. Um, so they got me into a room and they did, they did blood work, they, you know, they did all the things and they were like, nothing's wrong with you. Like, you're, you're fine. Um, you know, anxiety and panic attacks can cause a lot of scary things. And, um, I mean, obviously I was convinced otherwise, but the amount of times that I've heard from doctors, um, like, there, there's nothing wrong with you, you're completely healthy, it's, uh, crazy <laughs> so pretty much after hitting rock bottom I decided it was time to uh, go on medication um, because I had tried so many different things um, relaxation techniques I had tried CBD I had even tried weed a little bit I had tried like every natural, you know, way to try and combat my anxiety, but I, I just, I couldn't, I couldn't do it on my own. And, you know, that's okay to need some help sometimes. I was absolutely terrified to take the medication for the first time and because I was just afraid like something foreign going into my body that opened up a whole world of what ifs um, in my head. So I had to have two people around me while taking it before bedtime. Um, after a couple of days, I started to be like, okay, you know, well, it hasn't killed me, so I guess let's keep taking it. Um, I started going to a five day a week outpatient program um, at a behavioral institute. Um, I was actually wanting to be admitted because of how bad it was. Being in a constant state of panic, I was, I felt like I was losing my mind. I felt like I was crazy. I felt like I just couldn't grasp reality. I couldn't get out of it. I actually wanted to, and my family wanted to admit me, but um, my case just didn't fit the requirements for the place. Um, so they referred me to their outpatient program, which has been very, very good. Um, you know, it's, it's like group therapy. Uh, it's kind of nice to just, you know, be around people who get it. Um, it's forcing me to get out of the house for five and a half hours a day. Um, kind of on a routine. So I think with a mix of the medication and trying to retrain my brain in this outpatient program, um, I've made a lot of progress, for sure. Uh, I feel like I can function for the most part. Um, yesterday was one of my worst uh, days in probably a week or so. Um, I've only, that's the amount of time I've only been taking the medication. Um, and it kind of bummed me out because I felt like I'd made progress and you know one really bad day kind of felt like I took 50 steps backward but in reality you know you will have good and bad dates and that's that's just that and I'm trying to 
come to terms with the fact that instead of dwelling on this, um, I'm trying to get my life back. I'm trying to get back to a point where I can function and not second guess about if I'm dying or my well-being or my health. I'm I'm doing, you know, techniques, coping exercises, um, a lot of things that I think are definitely helping me along for sure. The last week or so has felt like there's finally some light at the end of the tunnel. I don't feel so hopeless. Um, and if I do, I try and combat it the best I can. But, so I guess uh, this video, I just wanted to inform anybody about what was going on and also if anyone can take anything from this um, you know it it's okay to need help uh, you know I reached out to I've told pretty much everyone in my life this is what's going on with me I've had a lot of support which is amazing I'm pretty much just trying to get myself to a point where I can function and be happy and be normal because you know I I want that bad enough like what I want the most right now out of life is to be panic attack free and just be how I once was in my life um, and I know I can get there, I know I can, and it's that positivity, you know, and that positive thinking that's, you know, motivating me and driving me, so I guess if anyone is, is struggling out there with, whether it be, you know, panic attacks, anxiety, depression, you name it, there's even when it doesn't seem like it there's always hope there's always help and you have to find it somewhere in yourself to want it bad enough to work on it every day every minute every hour <laughs> that's what i do um obviously with the help of therapy support from friends, family, my loved ones, medication, you know, I feel like there's, you know, a stigma around medication that it's like for, for crazy people or, or it's just a mask. You know, if, if your brain chemicals are out of whack, medication can help you. Um, you know, if, if it comes down to that, there, there's absolutely nothing wrong with, you know, taking medication. At, at one point in my life, I was like, oh, I, I never will. I'll just get through it on my own. But once I realized that I couldn't, I came to terms with the fact that it's okay to need a little extra help. It's okay. And since taking it, I've only taken it for a week. Um, I have noticed a big change, but it's not just the meds doing the work for me. It's assisting in the direction that I'm trying to take myself in already. Um, I'm retraining my brain every single day. I tell myself, you know, if you feel anxious, if you have a panic attack today, like, you know what, like that's, that's okay. You breathe through it. You're not gonna die. You're healthy. You know, I, I want my life back. I wanna be happy and I wanna live, I wanna live my life. I wanna enjoy the sunshine and food and my animals and YouTube and Twitch and you know, I had to put everything on hold 
so that I could get myself better and there's nothing wrong with that either. Um, thankfully, I'm in a position where what I do, I make my own schedule. So I was able to step back and do a little self-care and get some help. And I feel like I am on a road to recovery. There's no really telling how long it'll be, where I'll be in a week, a month. Hey, 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 hey. Come on now, Zucky. But coming from someone who has been at absolute rock bottom, I just, if anyone's watching this that is struggling as well, there are ways that you can help yourself. And I think we all have it in us, even if it's deep down, to get better, to work at it. It's hard, but you gotta do it. So. You know, don't, don't give up hope. Um, I, I, I did for a bit, but seeing where I'm at now, it feels like the clouds have just slightly parted and that's what I'm focusing on. I'm focusing on the little victories, the little progress, anything positive. That's what I'm trying to focus on, not dwell on the negative. You know, last night I had a really, really, really bad panic attack episode that lasted for hours. But today, I'm not dwelling on that. I'm just trying to be like, today's a new day. Yesterday was yesterday. It's not going to happen again just because it happened yesterday. It's, I'm, I'm moving forward. I'm not dwelling on the past because I've found, I find myself doing that a lot. You know, today I'm just practicing a lot of self-care, I'm relaxing, I'm keeping myself busy, I'm making this video, um, just take care of yourself. For once in my life, I'm doing that for me, and there's nothing wrong with that. Um, I'm really, you know, grateful that I have a lot of supportive people behind me um, but you know not everybody understands and that's that's okay um, I'm focusing on me right now because I'm the one that needs the tender loving care right now um, I've gone through my whole life worrying and caring about other people but you know now it's my time and however However, I need to get to the point of mental stability. Um, I will get there regardless of anyone or anything in my life right now. So um, I do apologize if this video was kind of dark at some points um, or upsetting or even triggering. Um, but I guess I just wanted to kind of throw it all out there and uh, let everyone know what's going on and hopefully be able to help some of you as well. So, um, I will be back. Uh, I'm not sure when, hopefully sooner, sooner rather than later. Um, and yeah, so thank you so much for watching and uh, I will see you guys soon.